Where do you integrate the IMU and GPS data? Kind of is what you just you just yeah. answered. Um, and we don't necessarily integrate mathematically. Um, as, as John was mentioning, that's one way to do it. Um, yeah. But instead, we use a series of filters to do so, and that's yeah. part of the work that he does on a daily basis. Um, could you explain the dilution of precision again, specifically what it is in terms of satellite positions? Uh, so, so like suppose you have, suppose at one time point the GPS antenna sees four satellites. If the four satellites are ruling close to each other, and the geometry you derived from all the satellites to the uh, GPS antenna is not really strong and determin deterministic. So versus you have uniformly distributed satellites which are far away from each other. And then if you want to pinpoint your GPS antenna, you get a much better estimation. Whereas if the, if the satellites were very close together and you're in like say a narrow canyon, you would only have a small view of the sky and yeah. your, the geometric relationship between your location of your antenna and the GPS satellites doesn't provide for um, very precise measurement. Yes, exactly. And do we check how many satellites are available at any time? We actually don't. Um, and that's for, I think, a couple reasons. Um, one of them is kind of how Gian was mentioning, we don't really rely very heavily on GPS in our system. We, we use GPS to get an initial lock. And you know, if we just take our system on an airplane and land somewhere, somewhere on Earth, we know exactly, you know, w relatively where we are on Earth um, geospatially, and then from there, you know, can use our localization stack and our other localization techniques to, you know, get much more precise locations of where we are, um, and therefore we don't res really rely on GPS very much, and mm -hmm. we more so want to know whether we have a GPS lock from the IMU, which the IMU through a series of um, the byte packets that come in and the uniform packets that it's sending us over the serial bus um, basically indicates to us whether or not it has a lock. So it kind of does that internally in its algorithms, um, which is good enough for our purposes because if we don't have a lock, it pretty much usually indicates our antenna is bad or we're in an extremely, you know, GPS noisy um, or, um, you know, Faraday cage type environment where we just don't have the signal from the satellites. Um, so it's pretty much kind of that binary relationship we have with GPS versus needing to know exactly how many satellites there are at any time. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, you know, like I said, reduces our reliance on GPS. Um, how did time, latitude, longitude, altitude, dilution of precision play into the six degrees of localization? Okay. Um, so the dilute of precision is the most important information I would say. So it describes how confident you feel about this GPS measurement specifically. Uh, this is getting into the sensor fusion. So the basic idea is if you don't feel really confident about this GPS measurement, you like you you don't um, trust that GPS much or you don't shift your aspect uh, that that much based on this GPS measurement. That's like a really high level overview. Like we don't want to go into that detail. Right, and webinar. we're going to cover we're going to cover um, sensor fusion and localization much more in the third and fourth installments of the webinar series. Uh -huh. But yeah, John's basically that's that's actually a really good answer. Is the dilution of precision determines kind of how much we want to rely on the GPS reading yes, um, as as a correction between. And maybe if we go back to the previous slide, that might make sense here. Yeah. Um, whereas you know our sample rate from the IMU is much higher if we have these samples along a, any given path, whereas our GPS sample rate is much lower, um, and we basically use our localization um, much more heavily than relying on GPS, and we use GPS to provide rough corrections to where we are. But like John was saying, if the dilution of precision um, is really bad, then we're not going to weight that correction very heavily, or maybe yeah. not at all. Yeah. And we've definitely been in situations, you know, with very heavy tree coverage or lots of buildings where we cannot cannot really rely on GPS very much at all. 